Okay, we're going to play a game that when we play at school, we usually have unifix cubes that we measure with so we can click them together and stand them up. But I'm using what I have at home. <laughs> so we're gonna measure some objects and I'm going to give you some clues, some length riddles. And you have to figure out which object I'm talking about, okay? So when we measure, remember that we make sure that the two objects or the object and what we're using to measure start at the bottom, right? We don't wanna start it here because then it's not an accurate measurement. So we wanna make sure that it's starting at the bottom and it goes up about the same height. Okay, so I have four objects here and you have to guess which one I'm talking about. Okay, so the first one is something that stamps ink and it is two Legos tall. Can you tell which of these objects it is? What do you think? It's a stamp, right? This stamps ink like this, and it is two Legos tall. Good. Okay, now how about something that you can use to color, and it is eight Legos tall. So you can color with a crayon. Do you think it's the crayon? No, it has to have the right length, right? So you could color with a crayon, but is that eight Legos tall? No, that's one, two, three, four, five. So we need one that's eight Legos. So what else can we color with? A marker, right? Let's see if it's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight Legos tall. So I was talking about the marker. Good job. All right, how about something that you use on chat lips? And it is four Legos tall. Can you tell? Probably only one of these you'd put on your lips. At least I hope so. <laughs> There it is, the chapstick, and it is one, two, three, four Legos tall. Okay, now how about something you can color with that is five Legos tall? Yep, there it is, the crayon this time. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. So we measured those objects and guessed what they were. Now, in your packet, you have a paper like this doing flower measurements. Okay, so you're going to look at the flowers and see how high it goes up. It goes. You're gonna color in the right number of squares for how tall it is, and then count how many and try to write the number. Okay, this says May 27th. You can do it today if you want to with this activity, or you can save it for tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to do an activity measuring ourselves. So if you'd rather save it for tomorrow, since you're already doing your beginning sound sorting paper today, you can save it for tomorrow, either one, but you could do this today or tomorrow and then send us a picture of it. Have fun.